Hello again and welcome back to the Lair of Centipedes. Now today we have a few more centipedes to rehouse. These are, I think, two, roughly two-year-old captive-born Epostigmus rupripes, and these ones are from Townsville. Now as you can see, they are quite a fair bit chunkier than the tiger forms, and they don't get quite as big either, but they're still very cool centipedes as well. They're also bloody slow growers. But then again, that sort of applies to most rupripes. So let's get the first one done. Now these Townsville Rubri pairs are um, a bit more laid back in temperament when compared to some of the other types like the Tiger Forms and of course the Karanda. So I'm not really expecting this rehouse to be quite as eventful as the one with Gerthang's Peedlings, but you never know. And oh, okay. And. Uh, Things do have a tendency to go wrong with centipedes, I, sh I shouldn't really say that, but you do always have to have your guard up. Oh, see what I mean? It just went for a bite. Yeah, oh, oh, you're really going for it, aren't you? Oh, I, I can feel the force of that through the paintbrush. Holding no prisoners. Wow. I... You need to learn the lesson of not chewing on things that aren't food. Should I just pull it in while it's doing that? I feel like I, come on, let's do this. No, you don't grip on the container. It's in. Oh, you're not letting go, are you? What are you, a termite? Why do you like wood that much? Can you just let go of my stick, please? No, oh, oh, oh my god. Phrasing. Phrasing. Let go of my paintbrush. You are strong. Okay. Yeah, well, uh, uh, what I was saying about the Townsville Rube Ripers not, uh, not being that bad. Uh, well, what a great start. Can you just... <sighs> Fine. Let's get the other paintbrush then. Oh, you're not letting go, are you? What do I have to do to get you to let go? You know what? Maybe I'll just give it a proper meal. Would you care for a mealworm, sir? <laughs> really? Really? You're gonna be like this? Come on. There we go. Well, it's now eating some actual food, but unfortunately, it seems to have taken my paintbrush hostage. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do now. Let's see. There we go. So now you just sit there and eat, and uh, don't think that I'm rewarding you for your behaviour, because I am not. Well, after that not-so-great start, I will admit my optimism for how the rest of this video is going to go has been rather dampened. But I can't complain too much because at least they aren't bolting like crazy like Gerthang's peedlings did. Now, you. You seem pretty calm. Now, are you going to try to eat my paintbrush as well? Don't think so. That's good. That was very easy. And it was, oh, it was having a bit of a drink as well. Oh, yeah, there we go. Now, if all the rest of the centipedes could behave like that, then this video would go swimmingly. Whom do we have next? We have you. Now. Now, which of your siblings are you going to learn from? Obviously taking the ostrich approach. Okay, so it's not eating the paintbrush, that is a great start. Or did I speak too soon? Yeah, I definitely spoke too soon. Okay. 
Fine, I'll just put you in like this. How's that? Ah, oh, well, at least it let go more easily. No, you are not climbing out. There we go. Well, that was easy enough. Next centipede, and I believe this is actually the second last. So, I don't know, this is not going to be a very long video at all, but I felt like I should just film something. No, 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 don't stick your head in the ground. Uh oh, pfft, come on. Why are you guys like. Why do you guys like wood that much? And I've realised that sounds very, very dirty, but look, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. No, 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 oh. Re, re, oh, there, yep, yep, there we go. There, no, no. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, honestly, that wasn't too bad. And that went by very quick because we are already on our last centipede. Come on out, little fella. Just... Just be a champ and don't make this difficult for me. Well, it obliged. It was a champ and did not make this difficult for me. Yeah, now enjoy your little drink. You deserve it. For once, I feel like a video of mine involving baby centipedes is actually ending well. But before... I am forced to eat my words, I shall put the lid on and prevent any further incidents from occurring. Now, that's it with the centipedes, but there is one last thing I would like to show you. Those strange katydids that I featured in a couple of recent uploads, the Acropisa reticulata, I kept briefly, but I released because I was under the impression that they weren't breeding at all. Well, when I was cleaning their enclosure, I found something that suggests that I may have been mistaken. These eggs matched the description for Acropisa reticulata eggs and they were only found on the vine that I was feeding them, so everything seems to add up. They did for a while share their enclosure with these Epipitheta trigenta duo gatata katydids, but their eggs look markedly different and at the moment I only have females in here, so unless they're parthenogenic then I see no reason for them to be laying any eggs and like I said they were only on the vine that I was feeding the Acropisa so chances are these eggs belong to them. Now I guess just comes the agonizing wait possibly for them to hatch. So that's the end of this video I hope it wasn't a little bit too boring for you but uh, I'll admit I'm rather thankful because I'm rather tired and the last thing I wanted to be dealing with was a bunch of centipedes going crazy. So if you enjoy my content then feel free to check out some of my other uploads and of course don't forget to subscribe. Uh, thank you all very much for watching, that's it from me and I'll see you again very soon.